Hi again, uh, here we are to continue our discussion of jQuery and add class. <coughs> Pardon me. So uh, so here we are, I've got a simple example, and uh, you can see here when I click, I add a border, right? And I can click on any one of these, and they, they each get um, the border when we click, because we've added the class selected, and the class selected has a style of border whatever right and you could you know you could change this like if I don't like the border maybe I just want to add a background color you know I could easily change this and that was kind of the whole point of of doing it this way um, right because if we add the styles here in jQuery that our styles are kind of broken up between our style sheet and our JavaScript right so I can easily change my selected style to a gray background okay Okay, but, you know, that's okay, but now that I've clicked, if I click a second time, you know, the border stays there, right? So let's let's try something. You know, jQuery provides another method called toggle class, okay? And toggle class um, <coughs> adds a class if it doesn't exist and removes the class if it does exist. Toggle is like a light switch or something that switches states. So, you know, you can think we're, we're kind of switching from the selected state to the not selected state, right, when we call toggle class. Watch what happens this time. So I've just changed that to toggle class, right? And now when I click, I get the gray border, and when I click a second time, it goes away. You can see the, the style here. Let's click on the first one, right? You can see the selected class appears here. And when I click a second time, it goes away, right? So we can click, and that's pretty cool, right? Um, what if we want to um, remove the the um, the style from all of the other ones and only add it to the currently selected one, right? So we could do this, and there's a couple ways to do this in jQuery. I'll, I'm going to just do it this way um, first, and then I'll do it a fancier way later. But um, and just to illustrate the idea, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, you know, uh, jQuery. So we're inside the click function, right? So you click on one of the boxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the boxes, right? Because this, as a CSS selector, this would select them all, right? And then we'll say remove class, okay? And the class that we want to remove is selected, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll add class down here. We'll say um, this dot add class. Okay, selected. Okay, so we'll we'll test it now. And you can see when I click on the third one, it gets the gray border. And if I click on the first one, this guy loses the border. You know, and only the currently selected one gets the background. Okay. So this might seem a little heavy-handed. Where you know, essentially, when you click, we're going to remove the selected class from everybody, but only the first one, you know, only one of them will have it, but we don't know which one has it, so we're not really keeping track of that, so we'll just remove them all, and then we'll add class, okay? So that's uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. So what do we have there? Let's um, write that down, right? Oops, uh, i got to close that off. We have add class, remove class, and toggle class, okay? And these three methods, along with the jQuery selector and click, allow you to do a lot, okay? There's a lot of things you can do. I mean, the and then the thing is, the appearance that goes along with, you know, the class name is all handled in your style sheet, okay? So there's actually kind of a lot of other things that you need to do to make things happen, but this really keeps your JavaScript simple. Okay, so the JavaScript is just going to be super simple. You're just going to have a click action of some kind, and you're going to remove a class, add a class, or possibly toggle a class. Okay? And I think that there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Okay? <clears throat> so anyway, so uh, so uh, let's, let's write this in just a slightly fancier way. So I actually like this because it's easy to read and, and understand, but we could write this another way just for fun. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say um, dot, um, uh, wait, what am I going to do here? I'm going to do uh, this dot add class selected. And now what's going to happen is we're going to select 
this, which is one of the boxes. So imagine like the first one was selected because you clicked on the first box. Okay, so we selected that one. And then we did the add class. jQuery allows you to chain all the jQuery methods together. So we can put a dot here and we can, you know, call another jQuery method. And when we do, since there's no selector here, it's going to, you know, use whatever you had selected here. So if we call a method on the first object, you know, um, when we put the dot here, we'd still be calling the method on the first object. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add um, a dot and then I'm going to say siblings. Now siblings is a method in jQuery that lets you get all the adjacent objects, which would be all four of these guys. Okay, because they're all siblings. They're all at the same level. Okay, and then the siblings, the siblings don't include this guy because we're saying all of, you know, his neighbors, right? So we've got this guy selected, but the siblings are going to be the other three, okay? And then for the siblings, we can say remove class. Okay, so this gets a little long here, but uh, we can say remove class selected. Okay, so there's kind of a fancier way to write that. Um, you, know, you know what you can do here too is you can put a line return after the dot. You're allowed to do that. Just don't miss the dot because then it doesn't work. Okay, so we can do this and then uh, test it. Um, and then you can see like here it works the same way. Okay, so, you know, if you want to write it this way or you want to write it this way, whatever is most clear to you, um, really they do the same thing. The, people might argue that this is a little bit more efficient, but I don't think that we'd ever even notice a difference in the browser. Okay, maybe if we had a lot more code, it might make a difference, but th this is so simple it's not going to, you know, you could write this the fanciest way and you'd never notice, right? But anyway, so I hope that's that's useful for everybody um, and interesting as a topic there. And then I'm going to continue with this and make something a little more useful, okay? So I want to make a dialog box that'll pop up and we'll just handle it the same way with um, add class and remove class, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching and um, I hope that's helpful.